Hi everyone, it's Doreen with Ula La Vintage Treasures. I just wanted to stop in and say hello to you guys and share with you something I'm working on. Um, I am working on my kit club items. I've already shared in the group for my Crystals and Pearls kit club and I just like to keep track of some of the things that I work on and send out. So I just thought I'd turn on the camera and kind of show you what I did. What I'm working on now is some envelopes. They were white and they were coffee dyed. I got this box a while ago and I want to alter the front. I haven't done anything with it yet, but I use this for kits when I'm putting something together. So I just have in here some tags and the papers that I've cut up. And then this is going to be a long snippet piece here that's going to have a lot of different things stapled on. And just lots of little bits that I'm working on right now. I'm just going to add a little lace right up here. But aren't these so beautiful, you guys? And this is using a square vintage plastic tablecloth. I cut them in squares and I kind of just placed each square on top of the envelope as I just dropped these on the floor. Hold on one second. So I was just kind of playing around with these envelopes and I wanted to show you guys how beautiful they look. So see this one here, it's light, but this one here is a little bit darker. And then this one's even more darker. So I just thought you guys would like to see something like that and oh my gosh, they smell amazing. Aren't they beautiful? I got the tablecloth from a sale, a lady was having a home sale last year and I started seeing videos on how to put these, um, you know, tablecloths on your coffee dyed envelopes and different, you know, papers and stuff like that and I said, I gotta try this. But I never really showed it because I had this coffee and pearls kit in mind about six months ago and that's when I kind of did these. Um, envelopes up because I plan my kits way in advance so that's kind of like what they look like isn't that neat I just thought that was so neat so I'm just going to show you one that I decorated I'll just put those there for a second and show you how beautiful this came out and this is just one piece of lace and I'm sure you've seen this before but I just thought I'd turn on the camera and show you so I just have my little dauber here and all you do is take your ink and just kind of dab over it difference in adding the ink to it it just gave it this really cool shabby and yes I rub it in my hands but that's way different right so that's that and then this is just the envelope here and let's just glue some of that on there. Hopefully my fabric tack will cooperate with me today because you know how that works. Fabric tack doesn't always want to be our friend. As you see, <laughs> it's going to make me wait. There, it's coming out now. I just put a thin line here. I just kind of follow that along. Let's see. I want to go this way. And then we'll just cut that off. And you have a cute little envelope and this image right here came from so this is the front cover and so I have several things on here I have a snippet a rose gold clip right here this is an image from my personal coffee room I did this whole coffee display I have it on my Instagram I think and so I did take photos of that and I downloaded it for my Kit Club Girls. 
And then this is the cover. Then I also added some baking paper and then this is going to go here on the back. And here is a paper bag. Inside is I did a, show you guys how I made this. I didn't do a tutorial because somebody else had done one, but if you want to see that, I can do one. And this is um, some beautiful leather type flowers that will be included. And you have a pink picture frame back there, a pink envelope, and then a large tag. So I will have probably um, different tags. They will be similar, but they won't all be the same. So that gets tucked inside the bag there. And I'm not finished adding all the goodies to this kit. This is just the cover. This image, I was going to tell you what this image was too, wasn't I? Let me see if I can find that for you guys. I probably tore them all up already. Um, let's see. Okay. So it's something like this, but it, it was a different, a bigger image. This is similar to the image I used. And then what I did was, as I cut off the image, you see the pearls right here? I only used this part right here for what I was doing with that. And that was part of the cover. And then this part here, which I didn't even use the brown part, I just wanted the pearls kind of showing through. Like something like that. And so you get that. Now I did make it a little bit bigger because the image is bigger. As you can see, this one is smaller, but you get the idea. So taking these digital images and adding them to your envelopes as the inspiration, that's kind of like where I was going with this. And this is called Coffee and Pearls, so I wanted it to be very girly and, you know, pearls. <laughs> so anyway, I'll put the information below on the digital that I used for this one. Um, but I just wanted to show you kind of like where it came from because you wouldn't know where everything comes from from me taking things apart sometimes. So I just thought I would show you that. So that is that envelope. And I will be back to share with you guys some more tips and things that I'm working on. Like I have, so I have all these together already and collaged on here. Like I said, this is going to be the inspiration for the cover. I wanted to show you this tip that I have for you today, and I hope you enjoy it. And stay tuned, and I'll have some more things that I have um, going on in my craft room. All right. Bye, everyone.